this is the first five minute pastor video that I'm going to do on eternal security I dare say that when I'm done with this there will be 20 or more because it's such a voluminous subject so many things to deal with and the such this is meant to be almost a, a kill shot if you will uh, to someone struggling with this and, and again in all my experience and it's vast in this area it, it all comes down to choice uh, where you start determines where you end up in a lot of ways. But as far as the scripture purporting eternal security, I want to share this with you. And this is from Word Studies in the Greek New Testament uh, by Wiest. I'm not a scholar, but I have a lot of scholarly books in my library. He says this in Ephesians 2, 8, we have, for by the grace are ye saved. That's the verse itself in quotes. The definite article appears in the Greek. God's salvation does not merely issue from a gracious attitude on his part. It proceeds from that particular gracious act of God the Son in dying upon the cross to pay man's penalty incurred by him through sin. It is the particular grace that issues from Calvary that saves sinners. The words, ye are saved, are in the perfect tense in Greek. That is, a Christian was given a perfect salvation in past time when he believed. And as a result of that past completed work of Jesus Christ on the cross and his past acceptance of the same, he at present is a saved person. His present possession of salvation is based upon one thing only, what Jesus did on the cross for him and his past acceptance of that work. That means that the works of an individual, past or present, do not enter into his acceptance or retention of salvation. Salvation is the alone work of Christ. The believer is the recipient. That means that the believer is saved and saved forever, for as he reads this text, the present results of the perfect tense are always present with the reader. And to strengthen the assertion, Paul adds another word in the present tense to show not only the existence, but the persistence of the results. The full translation is, By the grace ye were saved, and as a result are in a saved state at the present time. For years, as I've been preaching, I've been using this term, the finished work of Jesus Christ on the cross. And that is because of Jesus' words himself. It is finished. Tetelestai. Paid in full. It's done. Jesus did not say that for you and I to believe that you and I still have to do something to maintain or to keep or to get it back. It is finished. And again, there are so many other topics to get into here that we're not going to in this video. But if on any level you're struggling with doubts of salvation or the doctrine of eternal security, I, again, I'm, I'm begging you, seek the Word, seek the Holy Spirit's guidance, and, and sure, look on both sides. Avail yourself to both arguments, but I'm begging you, do not let a hypothetical argument defeat the absolute inspired Word of God. God's Word doesn't just support, it proclaims and shouts eternal security. May the Lord bless you.